Hi guys, this is Model Fun. Thank you for watching my channel. Today it's about Supermarine Speedfire Mark 9. This model is completed already. Uh, it's a Rebel set, 132nd scale. I think very decent kit and I'm happy with the build. So let's have a look how it goes. I hope you like it. This kit was released in 2017 with some new parts compared to the previous releases. Box is colorful with the new Revel color scheme and contains 154 plastic parts, decals and instruction. Bigger parts like fuselage halves and wings are separate from small parts and have very nice details. Smaller parts are also done very well. I see a quite big improvement in comparison to the BF109 kit, uh, also from Revel, that I built recently. The instruction manual is printed in color and contains all needed information. This kit gives two options to build and two painting versions. I'm going to build the one from the box art. This is a big model and I want to build uh, it with an open canopy to reveal the details inside. But there is no seat belts included in the kit, so I went for an aftermarket set from Edward. This set includes also the instrument panel and I'm going to use it as well. Interior color has been custom made with Vallejo paints in the following proportions. All parts were painted separately and assembled. The target finder, part number 5, is supposed to be clear, but similarly to the one in uh, Messerschmitt 109, this part is far from being clear, so I have painted with black paint the section that was supposed to be painted and replace the clear section with the piece of transparent plastic. This way I think it's a small improvement but it looks much better than the regular part. Added some exploitation marks in the cockpit with the Vallejo steel color and dry brush. And at the end I used some dark wash to underline details inside. Fuselage and wings assembly is straightforward and fit is good. Uh, I used clamps and tape to hold the parts together. Filled the holes with Tamiya white putty uh, where it was needed. And in the meantime I masked the canopy and put in it in place with the PVA glue. I used Vallejo steel color um, and paint the whole model to bring all imperfections uh, on the joints so I work a bit more with the putty and sanding paper. Once I'm happy with the result I paint it again with steel paint. Once it's dry I put a thin layer of the hairspray in places where I want to do some chipping later. The pre-shading on the underside is done with Vallejo Black. For the tail stripe and propeller cap I have mixed the paint. I think the color should be similar to the side letters decal, so I try to replicate it. Once painted and dry, I masked the tail, tail stripe and covered the model with Revel 68 dark green mud. Masking after was done with blue tag and tape and grey color is from Vallejo.
The underside was painted with Vallejo medium grey mixed with Vallejo white. Post shading on the side and on the wings was done with Vallejo black color mixed with thinner. Yellow stripes on the wings were painted with Vallejo white as a base for Revel 15 yellow matte. Time for some chipping. As usual, I use an old brush and a toothpick to simulate scratches on the paint. And when, once done, I cover the whole model with a few thin coats of gl gloss varnish. Decals are applied and covered with gloss varnish to protect them. And weathering is done with black oil paints and wash. The last step is the canopy assembly and that's it, model is ready. For the mirror that we have on the canopy, the instructions suggest using silver paint, but a better effect can be achieved with aluminum foil that you can find in your kitchens. This is how it looks after. I think it's quite simple technique. My suggestion for painting yellow color on the models. I always use a white base before I, I use yellow color because yellow itself is quite transparent and it takes a lot of coats to get the correct coverage. So with a white base, it works much better. And here it is, the completed model. It was a nice build, no major issues, the fit was good and I'm happy with the result. I hope you like it as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you liked the video please subscribe and stay tuned as the next one will be about P51 Mustang. Thank you for watching.